there's something in the water. Hey guys! Let's uh, change this up a little bit here. Ah, there we go. This is my review for Lighthouse, the latest film directed by Robert Eggers and it has Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson in it. This movie weird. Admittedly, I knew going into this film that it was going to be a different kind of thriller slash horror movie, experimental sort of film. Having watched The Witch back in 2015, I enjoyed that movie, but something that I liked about it too that you don't see many movies go for is its commitment to the language. The movie was based on colonial immigrants in America, if I'm correct, in the 17th, uh, 1700s. And the language, the English, the dialect was pretty close to what it was back then. And it, the film doesn't hold your hand through that. And neither does this one, which admittedly is the reason why I definitely am going to rewatch it with subtitles. These two are so committed to their characters, they're so committed to their dialogue that you do get a little lost sometimes, but just how well they spew it out and how well they keep to these accents. They don't break, they don't falter, despite the fact that they're absolutely wasted for a good portion of this movie. Not just the characters, like them themselves. If you read any of the behind the scenes stuff for this movie, it was crazy. They were drunk a quite a bit of this movie because the film does relate to madness, alcohol, abuse, um, isolation, and it all encompasses it in this film that is shot in a letterbox like this, which is something that I really enjoyed about this movie because it made it work so well because there's a lot of times you don't even notice it because of how they're shooting it. They're usually shooting it either through crates or through boxes or alleyways or points of view that the only time that you really actually notice the bars is when it's outside. It uses this so well. The lighting in this film is fantastic for a film that's purely black and white. You are so drawn into this island, to these guys' tales of madness with how it's shot and I got to applaud them for that. The film is definitely taking visual ideal aspects from 1920 silent movies while the story is taking it uh, tidbits here and there from maritime legends and lore and mythology and whatnot and it's combining the two into this movie that is just it's so weird but it's so intriguing weird it starts off kind of slow the whole movie in sense is slow you are just drawn in with going what is going on? And I enjoyed that thoroughly. But admittedly, it's not a movie that I'm gonna be like, yeah, let's pop this on because it, it's it's really weird. Like I said, there's sometimes dialogue you can't pick up on, but the performance is just so good. There's times where all of a sudden these guys go from being drunk to being happy, to being angry, to being sorrowful about each other to the point where they burst into monologues and you don't even realize it until about half a minute in. You're like, wow, Ooh, this is a pretty good monologue. Defoe has a few, Pattinson has a few. I really enjoyed these two. Just seeing these two characters on screen was enthralling and that's hard to do when you have just two people in a movie. And the movie just screws with you throughout the entire time to the point where you are just beyond lost. I've been thinking about it ever since I saw it yesterday and I keep on wondering what this meant, how does that interpret. There's some things that definitely I'm going to need to watch some videos on to explain what's happened. Um, there's probably about a billion lighthouse ending explained out there now. I'm waiting for the let me explain guys because those guys have been pretty thorough. But otherwise, I enjoyed this movie. It's definitely not for everyone. Hell no, it's not for everyone. It's not a movie that you're going to be like, hmm, let's just go and watch this. There's definitely a few people in that theater who were like, what the hell am I watching? And I don't blame them because that's the kind of movie that Robert Eggers makes. But in the end, I'm going to give The Lighthouse a five out of seven. It's definitely gonna probably be in my top 10 for the year, for sure, just because of how much of a new experience it is, how different it is from what you're used to, and the acting. The acting in this movie is fantastic. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.